All right, so I'm really excited about today's video and subject. So it comes from the book by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, he also wrote another one called Cash Flow Quadrant and Rich Dad's Guide to Investing. I strongly suggest you guys read all three of those books. I think that there are some concepts in there that everybody can take out and apply in their lives and at least maybe adjust your mindset. It may not be something that you actually do, but something that may flip your mindset a little bit that may affect your financial future. And so I strongly suggest you reading the, those books. Um, he tells a story about his rich dad and his rich dad's father died when he was 13 and he had to take over his dad's business and he dropped out of school at 13 years old to run his now dead dad's business and he Robert Kiyosaki talks a lot about how um, the school system doesn't necessarily teach us all these things about finances that we need to know to operate our lives and that his rich dad that had to drop out of school at 13 actually learned a lot more dropping out because his dad had this business that was extremely successful and he took it over at 13 and he had to learn from his real estate agents, um, tax accountants, certified financial planners, attorneys, and any other people that were helping him run his business, um, his bookkeepers. And so he talks a lot about how we need to go out and we need to find ourselves real teachers, people that actually do this stuff for a living and not just teach it in a classroom. And so, and uh, he talks about taking all of these people and making ourselves a team for our financial journey. And so what I've done is I even have it on a spreadsheet is I've created a list of my team members on my financial um, team, essentially. And it's a team sport. And obviously my first one, and so what I wanna do, first off, hold on, is talk a little bit about how this should be done. And when I talk about a team, I don't mean that you guys gather up together once a month at your dinner table and talk about your finances and what you're going to do. That's not what I mean. Um, these are people that you can call, that you can take out to lunch, that you can ask questions to, they can be family, they can be friends. People that actually do something financial or business related for a living that you can pick their brain on. They can be your teacher. And what's crazy is they'll do it for free. You take them out to lunch buy them a lunch and pick their brain if you have questions about real estate or taxes or banking information or loans or whatever it may be these are people that you have a relationship with to the point where you're comfortable going out to lunch with them and picking their brain and what's awesome about it is these people will give you information and knowledge freely everybody wants to be heard everybody wants to feel important and these people will give you information freely and they will teach you. And what's cool about it is you don't have to go to school to do it. And so they will willingly give you out all the information that you want. These are people that you do want to trust. People that you want to click with, that you can communicate effectively with, and that you're not afraid to tell them your true financial situation. And so how I do it is I have a spreadsheet set up and my first person on my team, of course, is my significant other, my spouse. Um, your finances, it is hugely important that you are on the same page with your spouse in regards to your finances. You guys have to make decisions together. You guys need to be on the same page when you guys spend money. You guys need to be on the same page when you're going to make major financial decisions and you guys need to discuss it. It needs to be a regular occurring thing even when it comes down to your budget. You know, you sit down and have your monthly or weekly, bi-weekly budget meetings with your spouse and discuss what you guys are going to do and what you're going to save or, you know, how you're going to make ends meet. Whatever it is, that is your number one team member and it needs to be a team effort. And so make sure that your number one person is your spouse when it comes to um, your finances. And then I have a couple of others. I have a real estate agent. Right now the market's super crazy, and so he's somebody that I can call up at any time and text him, call him, ask him questions about real estate. Um, the market's super crazy right now, and so 
Uh, I've called him several times in the last year talking about the market and when to buy and when to sell and if I should sell or if I shouldn't sell, all sorts of different questions. Um, he's a friend that I met through my wife and um, it's uh, it's been a great relationship. He's a good dude and it's somebody that I can call up at any time um, to ask questions about that. Um, I also have a banker, a uh, family friend, grew up across the street from him, he's a super good guy. Um, I know I can go to him and he'll shoot it to me straight. He'll give me any um, answers that I want when it comes to banking and loans and mortgages and second mortgages and how the loan process is and interest rates and all that stuff. He's my go-to guy when it comes to questions about that stuff. Uh, he's somebody that I could call up every single day if I wanted to and pick his brain and get any sort of uh, information that I need and he can teach me tons and I've learned so much from him. Um, I also have a tax person um, that I talk to. I don't really talk to my tax person on a regular basis, um, but I have um, picked his brain a couple of times when it comes to my taxes. And this is uh, something important because taxes are huge, especially as you start to gain more money. And if you're buying and selling stocks and you're buying and selling real estate, taxes are humongous. And so to have your taxes squared away and understanding how taxes work, you got to have a, a tax accountant on your team. Um, you should also have a certified financial planner. I don't have one of these yet. Um, I think that I can manage everything on my own right now, but you may be at a point where you want one and you need one to manage all of your money and maybe you have several properties and tons of stock and you're about to retire and stuff like that. And so having a certified financial planner to help you out um, navigating all that stuff is super important. Um, and you may eventually someday need an attorney I don't have one of those either, but it's something to keep in mind that on your financial journey, you may need an attorney to help you write up, I don't know, even rent contracts, things like that. It's important that you have one of an attorney that you can talk with. Um, I also have a stockbroker. Uh, it's an online stockbroker. I pay for every month, The Molly Fool. I think it's huge uh, when it comes to my finances, when it comes to my stocks. If I see a stock that's plummeting and I own it, I, you know, I jump on there and see why it's plummeting. They talk all about it. They'll talk me off the cliff so I don't sell it because it's probably not even a good idea. And so I can go to them. They're live every day, and I've even asked them several questions about portfolio allocation. Right then, you type it into a chat, and they just go down the list and answer your question. And your questions or whatever you, you know, want to talk about regarding stocks or if you have a company that you're interested in, you can hit them up about it. And so... I have that that I go to as well to help um, manage my stock portfolio. And um, something else that I think is important that I have is a family friend, a mentor, somebody that has done what I'm trying to do, that they've already taken the steps, they're already at kind of so to speak that finish line there and they're people that I go to and pick their brains. Uh, there's some. It's somebody that I've watched since I was a little kid um, progress in his career with his business and has you know made millions of dollars with his business and his investments and real estate and all sorts of different things when it comes to finances and life decisions. I have him that I go to quite often, you know. And it's always good to have somebody where you live that has the hookup. And what I mean by that is. In all reality, life a lot of the times is about who you know. Um, I see that in my my career. I see that in my financial life. I see that all over the place that it's not always about what you know or how much money you have. A lot of the times it's about who you know and who they can connect you with to make things actually happen for you. And so... That is what I mean by having yourself a team. And like I said, it's not somebody that or a group that you get together with at dinner or around a conference room and talk about your next financial decision. You know, if you're about to make a financial decision and there's tons of implications that come into it like taxes and real estate and interest rates and all that stuff, take time to take them each out to lunch or give them a phone call and pick their brains or have them teach you a concept that you need to know to make your decision work out 
and so that you make the best decision. Uh, I have found that when we make decisions on emotion, a lot of the times it is the wrong decision. And so thinking about things logically and mathematically is the best way to do it when it comes to finances. And so being able to talk to these people and work everything out logically is extremely important. And so I strongly suggest that you assemble yourself a team, a financial team that you are comfortable with, that you click with each individual, that will give you information freely, that will teach you everything that they have to know about their career that they've gone to school with and they spent hours and hours working on and perfecting and learning and then you get to go and pick their brain for free and there's some of them that you may pay and some of them may be friends or you work out a deal with them that's totally fine but a lot of the times you can just take them out to lunch and they will teach you the things that you need to know and yeah sure you may still use them to complete the deal and they may make money off of it that's great you know we all win but they're also people that can help and teach you and so I think that that is extremely important and they are true teachers and they will educate you in a way that you would never be educated in school. And so having somebody that actually does it for a living that can sit down and talk you through it and teach you concepts and principles and define things for you so you understand them and break them down um, is so important. And that is one way that I have educated myself is I've assembled myself a team. And I go and talk to these people on a regular basis. And when I have questions, I go to them and they teach me so much. And I've learned to go to them time and time again to or before I make decisions. And so this week, what I would suggest you do is sit down, make a spreadsheet and come up with a team. And you don't have to call these people and say, hey, do you want to be on my team? I'm not talking about that. Put them in your list and give them phone calls and talk to them mentally make a note that this is your team and when you're about to make major decisions you talk to all of them and they may all have differing opinions or may have different suggestions and you bring everything together you compile all the information and then you make a good decision and so make yourself a team your finances should not be a one-man band scenario you are not going to be able to make perfect decisions on your own it is best done with a team and so I suggest you put yourself together a financial team. And so please do that. I think that it will benefit you greatly, and I think you will learn a ton from it. And again, I would read those books by Robert Kiyosaki. He gets into a little bit more depth about it. Um, but this is kind of a quick rundown of how I run my financial life. And I think it is extremely important that we all have a team. So go out there and assemble yourself, your financial team. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at El Dorado Financial Group.